gonna kick me out of here because I'm in her way. We got um, boxes and two packages and and envelopes and things. So we will get started. Oh, now, uh, just in case, I have to use one of my sheet, cheat That's sheets really in you. here. Really I think this is my sheet, cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Hey, uh, Jackie. Yes? Uh, what does this mean when, uh, oh, he gets a little bit carried away with Hudson. I guess so. Oh. Yeah, he does. <laughs> And, you know, the kitties that don't belong in here, I think, we'll get them out, but we'll mm -hmm. leave Hudson and the six babies in there tonight. Okay. But I think we better, I just want to make sure they all got something to eat with Yeah. Them. Well, Hudson, we're going to leave in there because of that. I'll put, uh, I'll put another boat down so Okay. Tasco was being a little bit um, too friendly to Hudson again. Uh, <laughs> he just can't help it. Yeah, that's what they are. Yeah. <laughs> this one, um, I believe that this is from Deb. Deb one 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 one. She emailed me today, or Deb B. And this one, it, it's um, Arm and Hammer litter, which we definitely need lots of litter right now. Is busted, so which is no big deal because we'll use every piece of it. But I'm gonna leave it in the box here. And uh, uh, tomorrow morning when I scoop, I will use this litter that's in this box. Um, do you want to just set it right down there, Pat? And that way, <laughs> just a little, there. a little bit on the floor. That's yeah, okay. So we'll use it. It's not wasted. We will use every single piece of it. And that's from Deb B. Yeah, you know. I'm gonna. Th I was started threatening the cats yesterday. If they didn't quit going potty so much, we were gonna quit feeding them. Twinkle. Um, now this has to be Deb B. Um, Deb B. Not Debbie, but Deb B. Uh, and we also have toys to go with it. I discovered if I put the paper down here closer that it makes so much noise I heard some people were having trouble listening. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are big ones. These are these are oh just twenty eight pounds. This one felt heavier. So this I must be getting weak today. This is Arm and Hammer, double duty, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, you know we buy when we buy litter, which is often, we only, only get it when it's on sale. And uh, we still use an awful lot of it. So that's true. And um, if I was a bet in person, I would bet a kitty that this is also litter. Oh, jeez, I would a lot. I would have lost one of my kitties. That would have been awful. <laughs> that would have been really, really awful. Uh, okay, we don't have a name on this, but it's three cases of um, Frisky. Three cases of Frisky. Here's another one. Oh, here we go. Now we got it. Wow, this came, This is from, uh, from Can Ontario. Canada is from John E. Or his cam name is Seagull and it's spelled C E G U L L. So this is from John E. Or his, his webcam name is Seagull. I like that. C E G U L L. And uh, John, thank you. We've got three three cases of. Um, Oops, I guess I can't poke my holes in there. Of the frisky. This one's the prime filet. See if we didn't use this, then they wouldn't need the litter. <laughs> <laughs> and another one of the prime filets. 
This will go good with all the pate that Feedy got the kitties yesterday. And this one is Meaty Bits, another 24 pack, so three cases from Seagull. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that. These cats, we got a lot of them, and man, we are feeding a lot, and it takes a lot of cans, so that helps us big time. I'm trying to be a little more organized tonight. Uh-huh. Sure, Daddy. Sure. I always get into flinging paper and boxes everywhere, and then afterwards it's like, oh, I gotta clean all that up. Watch out. Now, if I was a betting person, I would bet that this is litter. I got my monkey cat. Cheater. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Burka. You know, all yeah. I got to do now with her is like, you know, and she's up here. She loves you. And this also is 20, 28 pounds of the Arm & Hammer double duty. And it does everything. Okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Put that right in your way. I can't do anything when I got <laughs> my monkey on me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Deb, for the, for the litter. Uh, gosh, what was it like two weeks ago? Kurt and Stacy went to uh, Walmart. We had they had their litter on sale, and <clears throat> I think they bought like 18 buckets of it. Oh, that's why I can never find it when I want it. Yeah, yeah, that's where Pat Pat works. And, um, yeah, I wonder what happened to it. Yeah, we, we use an awful lot of it. I was going to the bar manager about not filling her deposit. Yeah, yeah, that was probably after we got, so we raided it. Burka. 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 And here's the fourth one. Yeah, Debbie, Deb had sent me an email. Mommy, come look. Saying that, um, there was four, here it is. Should be getting four kitty litters from me today. Heavy boxes, that's for sure. I'm amazed that with these being 28 boxes, that the boxes actually don't split with this kind of weight. Thank you, Deb. That will help us a whole bunch. I guess the kitties can eat. Oh, we'll go ahead and let them eat since we got litter now to take care of the other end of it. <laughs> Okay, we got three other packages, one more box and two packages, so you know me, I'm going to go big to small. This one is also for FFRC from Amazon. What are you going to say? Oh, this <laughs> is not marked. But I'm pretty sure this is from Speedy. Our envelopes that we need and copy paper. Um, that she had she had also emailed me. So I'm pretty sure this is. Uh, let me double check because I have it. I have it on my cheat sheet list here. Yeah, this is Speedy. That and Speedy also sent the um, that little red hot pepper toy yesterday too. So thanks, Speedy. This stuff always comes in handy. Use a lot of paper and a lot of envelopes. There you go, Fozzie. <laughs> trying to see if any of those other notes are up there. Open the small one first, Grandma. Open. Oh no, we got. We always should see the smallest. No, we should not. All right. Now listen to my granddaughter. <laughs> this one it says it's from Sharon C from Derby, Connecticut. From Sh Sharon C. Oh, this is this uh. Is this Bubba? Bubba? Maybe? Oh. Wow, I'm not sure what that is. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is the Bubba. It says, um, Hi Jackie, here are some coupons that you or the volunteers might be able to use. 
the Purina was circulating around Bill's work and no one else wanted them and he thought of FFRC. No, coupons have various expiration dates. The coupon book is good through December 31st. And this is from the Bubba's. Bubba and Mrs. Bubba. And so here's, yeah, these are a lot of good coupons in here, but what is, this is all coupons? Oh my golly. Here, let me show them here first. Well, yeah, this is entirely Karina, your pet, our passion. And every single thing in here. Oh, look, there's Tidy Scoop Litter. We're gonna, we will use every single one of those. Some, some of these are buy one get one free. Some are two dollar off, dollar off, fifty centers off. <laughs> dollars. Yeah, I for sure I'm going to take all the litter ones out of there. Oh, good, and we got doggy ones. We d oh, we use these, the Alpos and the Mighty Dog even for the doggy. Oh, and here's those Queen of Chef Michael ones. Wow. Thank you, Bubba. This is awesome. There is a, I can't, I've never seen this before. I didn't realize that. This, it says here, your pet, our passion, Prina 2011. I wonder if they are already putting out a 2012 one. <laughs> Maybe somebody could find that out for me. Sure. Sure. They have a lot of coupons. Yeah. We, we have to use coupons here. So, um, I appreciate that a whole bunch. Can I see it, Grandma? Yeah, Kendra's looking at it, and then you can look at it. Aww. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, thank you. That's, that's really awesome. And then this Aww. one, this one says, aww, this one says, um, Cheapies Store, Dripping Springs, Texas. Yeah, and Kitty Treats. Oh, oh, we use this a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah but it doesn't say who it's from. Nothing on here to say who it's from, but thank you. There's four of them. We use this. We have this at every entrance. So, um, thank you. You know, we used to never do this, and we've been doing this at the doors, and when people come in, there's a sign that says you have to either wash your hands in the bathroom or use the sanitizer, and so we do. We go through quite a bit of this. Thank you. I'm not sure who sent it, but this will be also well used. It's Cheapies Store <laughs> Dripping Springs, Texas. So thank you for that. And then we... These are fun. Karen, did you know we've been doing these, the, the postcards? This one is Michigan. It says, greetings from Jackson, Michigan. Hi, Jackie and friends and Kitty. Oh, greetings from Joe Bow. Remember Joe Bow, the kitty that was adopted? I am so happy to have Joe Bow. He is wonderful. I love him very much. I am so, so glad I discovered your place. What you do is wonderful. You are the best. Love, Amy and Jobo. Jobo Love. So her cam name is Jobo Love. And this is um, Greetings from Michigan, and it's got all kinds of different places from Michigan. We just put a new cork board up in the office today just to be able to hold our um, postcards. Oh, and this one is Riverside, California. Here, let me scoot up here, Kendra. This is the one from Joe Bo. I've been to Jackson. Jackson, have yeah. you? Oh, yeah. My sister lives uh, oh, in Joe Bo. Oh, he goes to Jackson. Well, this one is Riverside, California. Cool places. And this is from Dave and, Dave and Cindy. And it says, Happy Thanksgiving, Jackie, Steve, Racer, Paul, and all the volunteers. We hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and remember, we are thankful for you. Thank you, guys. That's nice.
It's amazing how we've all become such a good close knit family here. And then, um, you know, sometimes I don't know whether I'm supposed to open these on cam or not. Oh, this one, this one I have a note on. And let me check. That one's this one right here. Yep. And uh, this is from Gwen. Gwen Cooper and Hummer fan, and this is this. They had a great idea. They emailed me, told me that to look for a card, and um, they put specific stickers on it so that I would um, pay attention to it. So uh, this one is from Hummer fan and Gwen Cooper. It picks up real easy, babe. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Remember, I'm still asking for pictures from everybody. So cool. I'll stick this up there, and the pictures names are on the back, which I like. And my board for that is right around the corner. See, it's nice. I get to see what you guys look like now. It says, Dear Jackie, please accept this donation in memory of Patricia Ann Okabana. Nolan, as a lifelong cat lover, we know that she would admire your work. As a woman who fought until the end, we know that she would admire your endless determination, strength, and spirit. We are confident that you will determine the best use for this money, so we leave it completely up to you as to what is most needed. We would like to thank you, your volunteers, and your wonderful web cameras for being so supportive uh, to us during a very difficult time. And this is from Hummer Fan and Gwen, Gwen Cooper in memory of Patricia Nolan. Thank you guys. Um, Gwen and Hummer, if you guys are on, um, we can do a plaque with this also. I would like to do that uh, on the outside of the building. And if you guys, one of you could Maybe just email me and let me know. I mean, we could do it where it would say in memory of Patricia Nolan and with your names underneath it. So let me know, okay? Maybe just uh, give me a quick email if we could do that. I appreciate that very, very much. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> this always cracks me up when, when these cats get cards. I love it. Karen, did you see all the cards? I did. On the, oh, and nice. there's some for Putter, a lot of them for Bella. And this one is for Remo, and this is from Sharon and Betty from Tampa, Florida. Oh, oh, oh this, this is perfect. Look at this. Check this out. This is just perfect. Uh, it's a broken leg. Oh my oh, gosh. The kitty it's laying in a hospital bed with the rear leg up, which is what um which is what uh Remo is. Isn't that awesome? And it says, uh, Jackie, we are sisters who live in Tampa, Florida and spend all of our spare time watching your wonderful kitty cam. You and all of the volunteers, volunteer oh, staff, yeah. are such wonderful people. God bless you all. Remo. So this is Remo. You'll pounce back in no time. Get well soon. Sending our prayers for a fast recovery. Sharon, um, Sharon and her kitties is Missy and Sweet Pea. And Betty and her kitties is uh, our Amigo and Angel. So thank you, Sharon and Betty and your kitties, and I will make sure that Remo sees this, and we'll hang this up on the hallway of cards as well. That couldn't be any more perfect. It's cute on the cast. There's there's paw prints on it all over too, and the magazine he's reading is the kitty magazine. That's cute. Thank you. I like that. Uh, this one is from Canada. Got some really cool stickers on it. Oh, look at that picture. I hope, you know, I started to say, um, if, if ever you guys don't want your cards or letters that you send to us read on cam, 
some people do will put on there, don't read on cam or don't read at box time. So I, I always respect that. It says, uh, let's see who this is from. This is from Selkie and Blue in Nova Scotia. I just, I'm just completely, totally amazed at all this. And oh man, you have a seed cat. And thank you for your donation too. Look, look at these two cats. These are gorgeous. The top one is a blue point, and the name I believe is Blue, and 11 years old. The bottom one is Selkie, who is a seal point, and Selkie here is uh, 12 years old. They, those, those are beautiful kitties. It says, um, okay, it says, Dear Jackie, we love you and the volunteers and all of your kitties. Thank you, babe. We try to wait patiently while our human checks emails first thing in the morning and when she goes to shower and get for work, we get to watch the FFRC webcam. Our favorite cat is Asha, of course, because she's Siamese. We would dearly love to have her come and live with us. Mm -hmm. Can you believe this? Our human had some U.S. money left over from a trip four years ago just sitting there. So we pointed out that FFRC needed them, and she agreed. So these are for, the what, for whatever you need for the cats, and especially Asha. You have a, a loving heart, and we admire your untiring work for felines in need. Love from Selkie and Blue in Nova Scotia. That is really, really cute. Thank you. Selkie and Blue, you are awesome. And thank you for, for finding U.S. dollars in Canada. And we will definitely put that to good use. Whoops. Yeah, when she does that, just, yeah, because she'll escalate. I'll put that one there. Hmm? No, we haven't gone any further. We're trying to, like when she does that, just to tell people to ignore her and back off, and she will settle down a lot quicker that way. I yeah, I know. I do, too. I love her to pieces. <laughs> uh, let me make sure I didn't miss something. Thank you, guys, for all of these wonderful things. Mm -hmm. And I have, uh, I wanted to make sure I did a boo-boo. I, I uh, didn't put Speedy, what all Speedy and her husband Eric brought yesterday. They brought, she works at Walmart. I didn't mention it, but I didn't get to put it in the blog. Oh, I'm sorry, my fault. Um, uh, Speedy worked at Walmart, and she's the one who discovered they were going to put out for sale a lot of their Friskies uh, at a really good price. So she bought a whole stack of it for us, and I appreciate that. There was also a tub and had plates and treats in it. So, Speedy, I'm sorry if you're on. I will do stuff on that. And Anam, wait. Anam, Anani is the name of our new flame point. And remember our washer and dryer people who donated that we, is Mr. and Mrs. Anonymous. So we are in honor of them naming the flame point Anani. And that's how we're, we're pronouncing it is Anani. Um, just a couple things, uh, uh, Kurt Williams' boo-boo on his neck is all the way better. Uh, we put that collar on and within 12, 18 hours it was all better again. Little stinker. Uh, yes, Karen is here, my daughter, and Kendra. This is Kendra. Kirsten. Say hi. And Kellen, can you stand up? And back up over here, honey. You're just there. She is. There's Kellen. That one's Kellen. So we love it when they come. And Kurt has been working all day again in Kitty City. He's got, I think, the very yes. He is all done. I went out and looked. He's got everything all done that he wants to do, except he's got to round off two more corners. Tomorrow morning, and he's tired. He's worked really hard for this whole week, extra hard on this. Um, he's going to tomorrow take everything out into the clinic building. It's all emptied in there, so he's spreading out everything. He's going to get them all stained. 
and then start polyurethaning, I think it is, and uh, get that done, and so that at the beginning of the week we can get Cat's Cove up here. You know what we did last year when we moved the cats, I don't remember if it was when we moved them up or when we moved them back, but we quickly brought them in here, showed them to you, and then took them out to the building. So maybe we can do that this year too, is when we bring them up from Cat's Cove, bring them in, show them to you, and then take them out to Kitty City. That would be nice for you guys to see. Um, this morning, you might have also seen Judy S. was here. She brought her four kitties. About every five weeks, she brings, she calls them EPTE. It's uh, SJ. Uh, oh, my mind went blank. blank. Pika, Thomas, and Abby. And we, every six weeks or so, we trim the nails, clean their ears, weigh them, and uh, just kind of do a quick check over on them. So she showed each of them to the cam this morning. Let me see here. That's all that I had on mine. Silly asked where Kozo is from. Kozo, uh, that's Silly Sticks. Uh, Kozo, Zoom, Sage, and Shale are all sisters. There's two Calicos and two Torties. This is one. This one is Zoom. And uh, they, these are the four kitties that were dropped off in our front yard. And remember Kurt, Kurt Williams, the one that alerted me to them that they were out there? So they're doing really good. Jack had asked if you, we could see, if you guys could see Cat's Cold Cats. That's what we'll do, though. We'll try to run them up here so that um, you guys will be able to see them before we put them in Kitty City. Queen asked if I call all the adopters. When when I do adoptions, I always ask everybody uh, two things, especially that I tell them. One is that if they ever have any questions, worries, concerns, whatever, with acclimating or, you know, whatever things that might happen at the beginning of adoption, to call up that we're here. Just because the cat is adopted doesn't mean that we don't want to offer any more advice. So we always tell them we're here. For, for any problems there, especially at the beginning. But the other thing is we always ask that I need a phone call within two, three days to make sure that everything is okay. And probably it's almost 100% of everybody does call me back and let me know how things are going. Uh, Shorebird asked me to let Racer or Kurt know that, that he's appreciated for all that he does. I will make sure that that uh, racer knows that he has he's done an awful lot for the rescue center. My family, some, I didn't get to write who asked that, but my family that's here again is Karen and the three girls. Beth asked about Putter's fur on his tail. It's growing back. Remember, what was it, like two and a half weeks ago we had that long slice on it? The sore, the wound itself is healing or healed. But the fur is going to take a little while to grow back, but it is, it is, and it's looking good. Is it Jolie? Jolie, I might be pronouncing that wrong. Asked how Bella is doing and her bottom. It's awesome. I look at it every single morning. It's the hair is growing back. The incisional site looks great. Um, it's I'm so pleased. I couldn't be any happier with it. Oh, and Lay, oh, I don't, I didn't write this very well. Layla loves you. Layla loves you, I believe is her name, asked about close-ups on the kitties. Uh, <clears throat> I, what we do here is during the day, the cam is where it is right now. We can do, sometimes we do some zooming in and out. But at night, one of our uh, pieces of furniture is turned around, and it's on the floor. So every night we set up a playground here, and the cam is only about this far off of the floor. So we'll be doing that actually pretty soon when Pat gets closer to being done. So you'll be able to see him then. So I think I got everything. And is there anything that I missed, anyone? Connie, is Connie on? Connie D, you've got a whole bunch of birthday cards here waiting on you. So when you come tomorrow, they're on the on the side of pin three. Oh, how is Remo? I'm so sorry. Let me grab. Okay. 
Yeah, we're going to, I'll look for Remo. He's doing really well, though. Oh, in the interview. Sheesh. Um, the Skype thing, I guess, is all set up. I don't exactly understand how all this works, but um, we're ready to do the interview with them. Uh, they did not get back with us quick enough today to do the 5 o'clock uh, appointment, so we're going to do it tomorrow at 5 o'clock. So it'll be tomorrow at 5 that we'll probably shut this cam down for just that 15, 20 minutes or whatever it takes us to do that. It won't be any longer than that. And we'll give you a heads up if that's happening, but that's at 5 o'clock tomorrow. And today's the day. Oh man, I almost mentioned that. Um, the real problem is soft, but there And they were brought out of that room, except for two of them accidentally got left in there. They got onto the counter. There's one space about this big, and those little buggers went down in there. So they were down there. I imagine they must have taken a nap because nobody heard them until right before I got back. They started meowing, and thank goodness Peggy found them. And they were down in that spot about this big. But, um, and they had a potty in there, so it was a little traumatic. They, that's why Dana or Donna has her bottom wet. She had to have a butt bath. It was just an oversight, not intended to happen. Felt really bad that it did happen, and they're fine, though. They forgave us, and we're going to fix that so that should never happen again. Paul is on. I think Paul is on, and that's, that'll probably be something that we'll be adding to his chore list uh, to do it up. We'll put a block there so that can never happen again. And this, I know it was very sad because that was our fault. I had an accident today. <laughs> I needed some sympathy. <laughs> Karen's left me. I collided with the toilet uh, with the toilet today. I was cleaning the toilet out in the clinic and um, I fell. Me a yeah, I got a lump on my jaw and a big bruise is coming. So, poor jaw, poor Jackie. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. What do I have to say tomorrow when it's all bruised? What happened? Oh, I hit the toilet. <laughs> yeah, but it does hurt a little bit. <laughs> A little tender. Yeah, it was rather embarrassing. I and you know when you do something stupid, sometimes you look around real quick, like who saw you? Well, I knew nobody was in the building, but I did that. Like, oh man, who saw me hit the toilet? So everything's fine though. Yes, yeah, the floor was wet. That's what happened exactly. MK Moss was my hand was down holding me, and my hand slipped out and bashed and went my face on the toilet. Very embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, too much too much catnip for me, I guess. Uh, yeah, the porcelain throne, that's what Steve said. Oh, brother. Okay, I, did I miss anything else? Uh-oh, Oh, please, no, please, no. Did, is everything okay? Um, you know what? A husband is right now in Cat's Corner room, and the reason that he just got put in there right before, um, right before boxes was because uh, Tasco was giving him a head to tail, and tail and tail bath. If you get my drift, so um, husband's gonna go back in Cat's Corner room tonight uh, just to give him a break. No, I wasn't drinking. I had any wine, anything like that. Oh, yes, let me show you um, a nani. No. Oh, ship, ship, ship. The ship? The pirate ship? Watch out, watch out, watch out. What's that? Hey, you got a worm in here. A worm or oh, something. Kitty found it. What is that? A little caterpillar? All of these. A little caterpillar. The boy is It is. They probably crunched it. This is um, Anani. 
This is a flame point. This is an awesome cat. A young male, probably probably about a year old. He's got the flame point ears. His mask um, is flame point. And yes, his legs have some flame point. And his tail is a little bit darker than his body also. This is an awesome cat, though. Say hi, everybody. Everybody wanted to see you. He fell asleep. I don't know it in case you didn't read the blog. Yes, he is fixed. Um, in case you didn't read the blog, he was sleeping in his cushy bed, and he um, was leaning out a little bit, but then he kept sliding and sliding, and his poor little head was, the top part of it was flat on the bottom of his pen, and the rest of him was kind of laying up over his head. It was so cute. So he's going to, he's just a big old baby. Isn't he pretty? Oh, here you get down. Try your yeah. So I think he's. I think you'll do just fine. Now stop it. Just because he's talking like a Siamese doesn't mean that he's upset. That you need to be upset with that. Okay, Anani. Yep. Let's go put you back in. <laughs> You're a talker. <laughs> You're so Yeah, you guys missed that, didn't you? Okay, I think that's it. Yes, I'm Jesus, our talkative. Uh, Carolina Ash, thanks again for helping me out tonight. And um, thanks, everybody, for all your support. I really appreciate it. Remo, please. Let me see if I can find them. Will you help me look for me, Yep. I'll oh. go back here. Hi, baby. Oh, there. Oh, oh. Will you look for me, Yeah, I'll help you. Yeah. And while y'all doing that, I'm going to clean that up. Did you even do anything? Oh, I there's something there. Thank you.